Hello my friends, welcome to Legacy of the Void Zerg Edition. Synergy's newest campaign is reaching completion and we are here to do a little bit of testing, a little bit of showcasing, and have a little bit of fun. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so we're doing 4 IR first, we're not doing the prologue because there's currently a crashing issue where it, uh, it, it crashes and we're not sure why. So, <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm going to pick my abilities. This is not available on the custom campaign manager, unfortunately. Synergy likes using his own system for all this kind of stuff. And that means we do have these very fancy interface elements to pick everything that we need, though. Yeah, we don't want camera pan. We want brutal difficulty. And Synergy's brutal difficulty tends to be way harder than the normal brutal. So I'm going to go with Kinetic Blast. Uh, we'll see, we'll play it by ear in the long term. If it ends up being not as difficult or whatever, then we can switch over to more meme Kerrigan strats. But for now, I don't want things to go too terribly. And of course, because it's a synergy campaign, every voice line has been changed, altered, swapped. No one gets out alive. Which means we're going to watch the cutscenes. The swarm is prepared for battle. One thing worth noting is that, first of all, this army is garbage. <laughs> it's usually these are zealots. These are zerglings instead. We got corpse or roaches, which are great, and then we have hydras that have the frenzy ability that's on autocast, which is nice. Yes. Uh, I am not super comforted by what's going on here. We're definitely going to have to play it a little bit slower and safer than normal in order for things to actually go well. Uh, hopefully we get some nice Tarosks from the place that's normally the... Who's or what's her? From the Colossus Bay. Right, they're going to come up soon. Usually we unlock the Colossus. We do have the ability to burrow roaches between every fight, which is going to be good for their durability. And some just nice... Please be Tarosks, basically. <laughs> the only other option is, like, Brute Lords, yes. right? I am. The, the only other option is Brute Lords, right? <laughs> we got Stinky, so no. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta pop forward. Be very careful. I burrowed one of them. They do have the Monarch Blades upgrade, the one that gives you HP regeneration based on the damage that you've done. That's pretty nice. And then... What else do we do? We gotta be very careful. I wanna pull stuff in small batches. Do the enemies also regen HP? Yeah, they do. Their ultras are regenin' as well, huh? <laughs> oh, that's not good. And then our burrow charges are just knocking our own guys all over the place. This is going to be a very tough to control army, I think. I'm a, I'm concerned. You guys in the front. Kerrigan over here. We should destroy them if possible. So that all Zerg will know Hit that. Pull it forward. I'll destroy them if I get a chance. Then attack. No time Speak. Blast another one of these. And bro. Oh, barely survived. Yeah, these enemies are insane. Our forces are under attack. Okay, all of that has been dealt with. One thing we can do is now that we're here, we can. Send those two ultras, and they will deal with the bonus objective, and they'll heal up with their... What is this ability? Tissue Assimilation. Grants life equal to 40% of the damage dealt from normal attacks. So, they got that going on. They're going to fully heal up, I hope. Basically, use the enemy as a shield battery. And then, once this goes down, we're going to get our bonus units, which I'm hoping are some more roaches and hydras. No time We'll see. Us bro charge knocking my own guys back thing is... Oh, they... Okay, so you get a giant mend ability when you do the bonus objectives. That's good to know. And you get a bunch of zerglings, and the zerglings don't seem useful. I think I'm just going to bank up the zerglings for later. And we're going to keep slowly pulling stuff out, because that seems to be the way that we got to play. No time like the Oh... Okay, well, the burrow charge is really good in situations like that, huh? 
Let's uh try to pull some more people. I've come Slow and steady wins the race. So this is really a tradition at this point for Synergy of making this mission way harder than normal. If anyone has ever played uh, Legacy of the Void Terran Edition, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This mission might be the hardest mission or the hardest mission in that entire campaign. But we have a lot of stuff. The Ultras are doing okay. I think we can attack move into this one because it's mostly Zerglings. Uh-oh. Well, he has the splash damage plus healing, so I guess he's fine. All right, we are truly the Zergling killer. Give me something good. Please, just anything I'm asking for. There we go. All right. I kept asking for stuff, and I wasn't getting it, but this time, this time we're doing good. Now, the next area has a bunch of Banelings that I'm concerned about. It's a very thin bridge, though. I'm going to go scout with Kerrigan, because I want to know if the enemies have mutations. I think they do. Well, obviously, we know some of them do. Are you doing 84 damage? Yeah, okay. We got to be, we gotta be careful about that, huh? Um, I guess the Ultras have to go in. This is not, a, like, we can't kite the Banelings back or anything. Let's give it a go. Oh, gosh. It just melted my stuff. Oh, that's absurd. So the reason I had this uh, fear is when I played the two-player co-op Wings of Liberty Protoss Edition with Jay Barino, Banelings were nightmare fuel. They just made us miserable. <laughs> and it looks like... Whoa. Feels like one of the Ultras always goes a really long way with Burrow Charge, and that concerns me. <laughs> uh, I, I know we're going to die to Banelings at some point, so I'm going to try my best to hold against them. Let's pull this way, and now there's going to be that group of enemies, or a group of allies that are being pinned down by a group of enemies. Right over here. Hopefully they're worth grabbing. Ooh, I like this. I like this. So this is the roach variant that we don't have. Which means we now have two different roach types. We have the corpser and the vile. This is really cool. I love that. For a bonus objective type thing, giving the tool that you don't have access to is always really nice. Okay, so now we can actually disable heavy hitting enemies and we can use the corpsers to help out with the roachlings against all of the smaller scale stuff. Kerrigan has the ability to one-shot a lot, and any time that we are fighting against these zerglings, it is just a masterclass on Ultra Edge because of that healing. The Hydras do still pack a punch against them, but that's okay. Let's get Ultras in the front. Roaches on over. Oh no, oh, okay, that was just a roachling. Wait for that guy to pop up, hit him with a kinetic blast, target him down, get the slowy roaches on so that guy doesn't heal as much, and we got through it again. And we're going to have 100 zerglings from these bonus objectives at the very end of this mission, which is exactly what we're going to need. That's really good. Okay, bro, you guys in a pile. Make sure you're hotkeyed so we don't forget about you. Get the Ultras in the front, the Kerrigan behind. Now, this area is the one with the Nidus Worms, right? I don't I don't actually know if Kerrigan one-shots a Nidus Worm with Kinetic Blast. But I'm going to put her over on this side just in case, and then we're going to attack in. Going to try to micro her. Oh yeah, she does. No problem. Burrow. Ooh, safe. Burrow. No. No, not. Don't unburrow. No. Make it quick. Well, I misclicked. And, uh, Speak. now all of my ultras are gone except for one. Oh, no. Da, da, da. He's fine. This guy's not, though. What do we do here? Okay, this might be really dumb. Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> okay. 
Um, bro, the roaches. Bro, the roaches. And then we'll just roach regeneration plus matriarch blades to <laughs> heal up the ultra. <laughs> Is this what was intended? Or am I just so bad that I have to do it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wonderful. Wunder bar. I love it. This is thinking with portals. Okay. What is it? I feel more confident against Make the really scary stuff that's going to be coming soon across that bridge. Your queen, yes. I've come. Zerglings, I don't think will be super helpful. Yeah, we definitely need them for the end. They do have adrenal and they have metabolic boost and they have Raptor upgrade and 10 bonus life. So they're going to be very strong against the hybrid. No time like the present. Let's try pulling stuff in chunks once again. I am the sword. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, ultra. Be careful. Now target this guy down. Make sure we vile goo him. As long as he gets got by the goo, he's not that strong. Oh no, he these two just charge to their demise. What an unwieldy ability bro charges. No, oh, I want to bro one guy. I'm really messing up. So one thing about playing through the editor, which we are right now because it's not fully released, is things are a bit laggier on the editor than normal, which means that if you try to do like really good plays, sometimes you're just slower because it's a little bit spiky and choppy. I'm sure you can see it in the video that sometimes it just gets choppy when it normally would not. And I have to be playing with that in mind. So I have to be more aggressive with my use of Burrow. Not aggressive, but more proactive with my usage of stuff like Burrow. Now we have a billion, trillion, quadrillion Zerglings. We're going to get our last set of them. Bring us up from a billion, trillion, quadrillion to 99. Now is going to be the Nidus section at the end. Let me see. Can I snipe one of the Nidus as it pops up? Yes. And then we're going to pull back everything and just run that Nidus out of gas. This is going well. I'm glad that I kept these Zerglings until now. I think they would have, in those smaller numbers, absolutely been annihilated without doing anything of real value. But right here, they're truly helping out. They probably would have just been knocked around by those Pro Charge Ultras, huh? Keep pulling stuff back. Oh gosh, I just killed my own man. Well, that sucks. I think at this point we gotta start pushing through. Here comes the first wave of hybrid. And we should do enough damage that we're okay. We also have the slow ability on them from these vile roaches. But there's so many hydras in the back. Ooh. I'm not feeling good about this. We have a lot to kill and our armies have been pretty drastically reduced in power. Your queen, okay, we're going to attack this way. There's a blast to take him out. Make sure the Corpser Roaches do their thing, and then send the Corpsers into the Baneling. This is the end of your race. Uh, mm. Kerrigan's going to have to start taking stuff off from the periphery, the edges. This mission is always so hard when Synergy makes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I don't think I've ever lost this mission in the Legacy of the Void standard version I am the swarm. you know until Nightmare Difficulty comes out yes. ooh did we only pull one Make it quick. nice just keep targeting it down give it that slow so we can kite it forever I've come perfect now we can take down the Guardian because it is also slow. I think we got this. It's just, it's an uphill battle. Uh. 
All the Banelings are gone. Take down the Hydra. See what pulls. I'm really hoping the Hydra doesn't pull. Give him the slow. Man, these vile roaches that we got from that, <laughs> that little event are truly the MVPs. We would have absolutely lost without it. We wouldn't have been able to kite. But thankfully... So, do these Hydras... Yeah, look at that. They have, they have the bonus range, they have the HP yes. upgrade, and they have the Frenzy ability, as opposed to ours, which don't have 1-1, one, one, don't have the bonus range, and don't have the HP upgrade. No wonder we're getting so shredded by them. They're insane. They're just better than us in every single way. Can I blast that? Keep making Roachlings. I want to take that Hydra down. I don't want to have him behind because he will start killing stuff. So let's see if we can pull the hybrid on his own. No. Hit that. Yay, we did it. Do we have to kill this guy? No, we don't. <laughs> are useless to them now. Oh, three flavors of Mutas. All right, guys. This has been mission number one of Legacy of the Void Zerg Edition. I hope you enjoyed it. This <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you with mission two tomorrow. Peace.